Ferrari has officially approved the use of a steel alloy cylinder head for its 2026 Formula One power unit, marking a significant development in the Scuderia's ongoing efforts to maximize both performance and reliability in the era of new technical regulations. Enrico Gualtieri, the Ferrari technical director responsible for the engine department, endorsed the innovative solution developed by Davide Mazzoni, the lead project engineer for the 2026 power unit. This design was subsequently reviewed and refined by Guido Di Paola, a highly experienced engineer who returned to a more active technical role in Maranello even prior to the departure of Wolf Zimmermann and his deputy Lars Schmidt, who both moved on to positions with Audi. The 2026 Ferrari engine, internally referred to as Project 678, has been designed and entirely manufactured at the Maranello factory, allowing Ferrari to exploit a level of integration and collaboration between departments that has rarely been seen before. This power unit represents the culmination of months of intensive work between the engine division, led by Enrico Gualtieri, and the chassis team, under the guidance of technical director Loic Serra. The goal of this tight cooperation has been to ensure that the engine's design allows maximum freedom for the aerodynamics engineers, while still providing a highly reliable and efficient platform for the new regulations that will come into effect in the 2026 Formula One season. The 2026 power unit has been conceived with the intention of giving aerodynamics chiefs Diego Tondi and Frank Sanchez the possibility of exploring more extreme concepts to reduce drag and enhance the overall aerodynamic efficiency of the Ferrari SF26 chassis. The Italian media had previously highlighted that the new Ferrari engine will feature smaller radiating masses and a more compact and lightweight electric battery. These modifications are designed to optimize the car's weight distribution and allow for aerodynamic bodywork that could provide improved airflow over critical components, enhancing both downforce and top speed potential on straights. Fred Vassar's technical team at Ferrari faces a critical challenge. They must demonstrate that halting the development of the SF25 in the wind tunnel at the end of April 2025 was a strategic decision that now yields tangible benefits under the new regulations. These regulations are expected to bring one of the most significant technical revolutions in modern Formula One history, and the team must capitalize on the opportunity to push innovative aerodynamic solutions made possible by the new engine design. Ferrari's engineers cannot afford to let this advantage slip away. After the disappointing results of the 2025 Formula One season, Ferrari has chosen to maintain a very low profile, minimizing public statements while quietly advancing its technical programs. The team's engineers also discovered that both Mercedes and Red Bull have developed a technique that allows their six-cylinder turbo-hybrid engines to increase the compression ratio from the 16.1 limit, mandated under ambient temperature testing, to approximately 18.1 during normal operating conditions. This technical innovation has sparked intense discussions across the paddock, highlighting the lengths that top teams go to in order to maximize performance while remaining within the regulatory framework. This development led Ferrari, alongside its partners Honda and Audi, to request a formal clarification from the FIA regarding the legality of the solution. The FIA ultimately confirmed that the approach, initially developed at Bricksworth and later adapted at Red Bull in Milton Keynes, is fully compliant with current regulations. According to several technical analysts, the measurable performance gain from this approach could be roughly 13 horsepower. When considering that each additional horsepower generally translates to around 0.02, 0.03 seconds per lap, it is clear that this innovation could yield an advantage of approximately 0.25 seconds per lap. This is notably less than the four-tenths of a second advantage that some reports had suggested, emphasizing the need for precise technical evaluation. One of the less widely reported developments is that Enrico Gualtieri decided to approve a steel alloy cylinder head rather than continuing exclusively with the aluminum head that had been developed in parallel. The aluminum version, while innovative, would not have been able to withstand the demands of running four power units across a full Formula One season, potentially compromising reliability. By opting for the steel alloy, which incorporates elements such as copper and ceramic composites, Ferrari is ensuring a much higher level of durability under extreme thermal and mechanical stress. Following the departure of Wolf Zimmermann and his deputy Lars Schmidt to Audi, there had been concerns that the steel alloy cylinder head might have a very limited operational lifespan. However, Davide Mazzoni had already anticipated this and tasked Guido Di Paola, head of F1 internal combustion engine concept and design, with re-evaluating and optimizing the solution.
Di Paola worked to refine the design in collaboration with AVL, an Austrian engineering firm, to achieve the reliability standards demanded by the Scuderia while maintaining the extreme performance characteristics that the team requires. Although steel is heavier than aluminum, it allows Ferrari engineers to experiment with combustion pressures and temperatures that have never before been achieved in Formula One. This capability is expected to provide a distinct advantage, particularly since the 2026 power unit will weigh approximately 30 kilograms more than the 2025 unit, reaching a total of 150 kilograms. The additional weight presents both a challenge and an opportunity for Ferrari's engineers to optimize the engine's packaging and integration with the chassis, ensuring that aerodynamic performance is not compromised while achieving higher thermal efficiency. Restoring a more active role to Guido Di Paola, a cornerstone figure with extensive experience in Maranello's engine division, has been a particularly positive development. Di Paola's deep technical knowledge and leadership skills are seen as vital for the success of the 2026 power unit program. The Marinello team has also strengthened its ranks with several highly qualified engineers who have joined from Renault and Mercedes, creating a tightly knit and highly experienced group capable of tackling the unprecedented challenges posed by the 2026 regulations. The introduction of a steel alloy cylinder head also provides Ferrari with additional flexibility in managing the hybrid components of the power unit, including the MGUK and MGUH systems. By maintaining precise control over combustion chamber temperatures and pressures, the team can optimize energy recovery from braking and exhaust gases, providing a critical boost in both efficiency and peak power output. These gains will be essential in ensuring that Ferrari can compete at the highest level against McLaren, Red Bull, Mercedes, and Aston Martin, all of whom have ambitious plans for the 2026 season. Ferrari's decision reflects a broader philosophy within the team. Integrating engine development, aerodynamics, and chassis design more closely than ever before. The collaboration between the engine and aerodynamics departments, facilitated by this new steel alloy head, is intended to allow more aggressive airflow management around the power unit and rear suspension, ultimately improving downforce without increasing drag. This integrated approach could give Ferrari a measurable advantage on circuits with long straights and high-speed corners, which will be crucial for championship contention. The 2026 Ferrari engine program is also significant in the context of long-term team strategy. By ensuring that the engine is both extremely reliable and capable of supporting advanced aerodynamic designs, Ferrari aims to build a platform that will remain competitive for multiple seasons. This approach mirrors strategies employed by championship-winning teams in the past, where stability and continuous improvement in the power unit allowed Lewis Hamilton at Mercedes or Max Verstappen at Red Bull to extract maximum performance consistently across multiple seasons. The approval of the steel alloy cylinder head for the 2026 Ferrari power unit therefore represents a bold and technically sophisticated step for the Scuderia. It is designed to ensure both reliability and peak performance under the new regulations, while also providing the technical flexibility to support innovative aerodynamic solutions. With the combined expertise of Enrico Gualtieri, Davide Mazzoni, and Guido Di Paola, alongside contributions from top engineers from Renault and Mercedes, Ferrari appears well-positioned to return to the front of the grid in the 2026 Formula One season. The decisions taken in Marinello reflect not only a response to past challenges, but also a proactive strategy to maximize competitiveness in an increasingly complex technical landscape.